Hi everybody, this is Andrea here. I wanted to share um, a set of invitations that I created for a friend of mine for her goddaughter's sweet 16 birthday that's coming up in December. I know this is the beginning of November, but they're gonna wanna send invitations out pretty soon. So I have this project that I've been working on since the beginning of October, and this is the final product. This is what the invitation will look like when they take it out of the invitation, out of the envelope. Um, it's, uh, she's very much into pinks and glitter and grays. I know this isn't gray, but I'm hoping that what, what it looks like when it's done, uh, when I show you what it looks like the inside, um, you'll see where I've brought in the grays and stuff. I've created for her um, a, uh, what do you call it? an example for her, for the birthday girl to keep so she has an example of what everybody received. This is the inside of the invitation. It is a napkin fold card. This is the belly band that goes around it. Um, and it's it's got, uh, you are invited to a sweet 16 birthday pottery honoring. And then they can fill in the information. I'll let uh, the organizers fill that in for the little girl. Um, but I put it in a frame so she has one because it's so pretty. And I think that she would really enjoy having one. Everybody else is going to get these in the mail. And so this is all 40 of the invitations that I'm going to be giving to my friend tonight. Um, anyway, I wanted to share with you what I did to create this. The napkin fold card. Uh, this is the belly band they, that I created. This is my template, the version that I'm keeping. So it opens up like that. And of course, it's got the, the piece in the middle that I've put in there. Uh, you know, the piece that has the Sweet 16 honoring. So I took, it took a long time to get this, get this card done because of all the cuts that are needed for, for the triangles and for the side triangles and for these triangles. It took me, I want to say, I want to say a week to get the folds done, to get them to fold properly and fold uh, equally, I guess, um, for the black paper, getting all the cuts done, then the, the procedure of getting it all glued down. I had to do it as an assembly line. So this is the remnants of my assembly command center for creating these cards. It was quite, uh, quite a process. It took me most of October to get this all done. Um, for the, for the, uh, for the final prep, I guess, coming up with a belly band that would look really pretty, that would pop. Um, I know that the organizers wanted me to have Sweet 16 on the card, but that just was not going to fit. Um, some of the ideas that I'd come up to get the 16 on the front of the card were just not looking, were actually taking away from the card. And so I think this is the best way the card can look. Um, some of the supplies that I used, I used the DCWV glitter stack, which is over here on the table. Uh, DCWV Glitzy Glitter Stack. Uh, this was a, an item that I found at Michael's and it was actually on clearance this past summer. So when I got the request to make this card, um, it was a heck of a time trying to find enough paper to get this done. I think I'd gone to five different Michael's stores to see five different Michael stores to get this paper um, and was able to come up with, with, with enough to get 40 invitations done. But it's glitter paper and it's, um, it's beautiful and worked out quite nicely for the project. Um, the other items that I used for the flowers on the front of the card, I used the Recollection Floral Embellishments in white and then used this Delusions ink spray in pink to get the color to be the pink that's in the, in the, and that's the color that it turns out to be once it's dry. That's the spray, which is pretty good. I had tried using Glimmer Mist, um, the purple pomegranate, but it actually didn't turn out very well. The color of that purple turns out to be this color, which is not quite working for that. It would have looked better with the brighter pink, so I used that instead. Um, used a lot of ATG tape. Oh my gosh, I think I went through about six rolls of that just to get all of the triangles and, um, and the center part of the, the invitations glued down and went through quite a bit of two-way tape as well. And on the back of it, I've got my information on the back and uh, I think she's really going to enjoy it. So I'm going to give up this project today and I'm, I'm, I'm praying that the, the girl that's receiving them 
is going to be as thrilled as I was. Um, I got them done on Halloween, was very excited to get them done, and so now it's time to, to deliver the project. Anyways, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll post this example to my blog with my my template as well as what the final product looked like and and all of the invitations there uh, for you to see on my blog. My blog is Dia Scraps A Lot at, at blogspot.ca. Um, again, that's Dia Scraps A Lot at, blog, at blogspot.ca. Sorry, www.diascrapsalot.blogspot.ca. Sorry, it's a website address, not an email address. Um, and I will post this video as well as, as uh, some pictures of, of all of the projects that I've done. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.